of the telephone company. They did. They broke it up into regions. And in my memory is those regions then turned into dynamos. Okay, the fourth and final part on the low voltage region series. Some of you might be wondering why I haven't uh, done a low voltage uh, tube type circuit before. I've done conventional uh, regens, uh, high performance regens, both in uh, dual triode and uh, dual pentode and uh, you know a pentode followed by a triode and so on with uh, medium voltages of 65 to oh let's say 120 volts and uh, in two stages with that kind of voltage you can do really well with headphones uh, you have plenty of volume but at these low voltages 24 volts and down I'm gonna say um, you really have to have a pretty good circuit to get headphone volume and indeed if you look at most of the circuits that are on the internet that have been published they usually use a small amplifier following the regens just so you can hear something so uh, it takes a little bit to be able to drive old-fashioned headphones so that's that's the first thing we need to uh, to talk about also I promised that we would try some different tubes we're going to go through and try uh, both at 12 and 24 volts a variety of different tubes in the circuit and uh, do some mods on the circuit to uh, to make the pentode work um, and finally uh, stick some FETs in there and see what the circuit can do with a couple of ordinary uh, U211s or uh, MPF102s or whatever uh, JFETs so uh, this is part four, low voltage regen. So this is WOR in New York. You get totally ostracized by the gay community. So they come to us. Be a big boy and deal with money. So anyway, um, as you can see, I'm using a uh, transformer that I found as a choke. Uh, the, the output transformer I tried was very, very tinny. And I've been trying various um, chokes and transformers tonight just to see how they sound. And I can report that uh, it's all over the place. Some of these small transformers... You know, they're used in output circuits, like this oh, little man. one, output transformer. Some of them sound pretty good, and some of them don't sound good at all. Here's a little 24-volt transformer that had a dual primary. I put the two primaries in series for 230 volts, and that measured up around 400 ohms. I thought, well, that's probably some pretty good inductance, and it sounds pretty good, actually. Yeah. It, which is why we don't do these deals to start with, but now here we are. So, is yeah. this, is this, is, is your husband, um, you know, is he... It's a little bit bright, but, uh, but not bad. So, this is an example of a power transformer, a small power transformer that I'm using as a choke. So, just, just an idea. Now, um, with a choke, and with such a low resistance compared to using a... 27k or a 47k resistor in place of the choke, you would expect that the voltage to reach regeneration would be quite low. Let's see how low for this tube. So I'm going to measure the center of the pot, which is feeding the voltage to the tube. Let's see what it's sitting at. 4.47, 4.5 volts. At 4.5 volts, that tube is oscillating. It's absolutely amazing. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to swap out the 12AT6 or 12BF6, whatever we happen to be, uh, whatever we happen to have in that regeneration socket. And we're going to swap out the 12AV6 that I'm using as the audio amplifier with the 6 volt equivalent tubes and I'm simply going to turn the power supply down to 12 volts. 
I'm not changing anything but the tubes. We're going from 12 uh, AT to 6 AT. So that it, this is the quickest switch to 12 volts you've ever seen. Let's try it. Turn the supply off first. Okay, so we'll take this. What was in there? Oh, it was a 12 BF6. Okay, taking him out. Let's disconnect the power supply because we're going to have to reset it for 12 volts. And we need a six something for the output. Let's see what we can get our hands on here. Reach into these tubes. Twelve, no. Ah, six AV6. There we go. Let's put that in. Okay. Now, with this disconnected, let's readjust the power supply. Okay. Hook this baby up. Hopefully the tubes will light. It's two 6-volt tubes in series, so that should be 12 volts. Okay, let's see if we can get this to go. Turn up the volume. It can't be the price. Term insurance is just plain cheap. Now, that's why I talk about Xander Insurance so much. Not because they're just an advertiser, but because they offer a crucial service that helps you and me. Call them at 800-356-4282 or check out their rates at Xander. Not quite into regeneration. So, that tube's not as hot as the 12BF6 apparently. And even at the full 12 volts, it's not going into regeneration. However, it's close to regeneration because we are picking up stations and it's detecting. So let's try a couple more tubes before we give up. And the solution to this is, is going to be to increase the number of tickler turns. Oh! You know what I just put in there? And they went home. And they did that on purpose as a way to show you the hysterical reaction that conservatives and the mega six people BF being six. normal Yes, it's a 6BF6. And they've done this several times. I mean, they did With this another a 6AV6 the rally is in the audio position. A bridge, planting an American flag in a park, and then... Get out of that, but... Radio Circulation 730. So the 6 vf 6 is very happy. We're generating at about half the pot. So with about 6 volts. Let's, Let's see how many volts it took to get that 6 BF6. Yeah, just about 6 volts. So, I suspect that the 6 AT6 that I tried is probably not that good of a tube. But uh, again, the 6 BF6 showing off how Morgan kind of knew what he was talking about with his regen. Optima Tax Relief, the leading tax resolution firm, is A-plus rated by the Better Business so Bureau, volts. and they've resolved over a half billion dollars for their clients. So of all the substitute chokes that I came up with, I found that the uh, 24 volt transformer with the split primary with all the windings in series made a pretty decent choke. Uh, better than the, uh, the output transformer and equivalent to the speaker transformer used for intercoms. All of them were useful and uh, gave good output, but uh, the low end uh, comes in when you get enough uh, inductance. I've tried uh, the 6BF6, 6AT6, 
and the 6A V6 in the circuit, and the 6BF6 uh, seems to be the best one in the regenerative spot. And I think I want to try a 6C4 triode. The 6C4 is uh, it's a little more powerful tube, but um, I've got a few of these to try. Fortunately, it has the same heater current, which is 0.15 amps, or 150 milliamps. But the uh, pinout is different, so I will be consulting the, uh, the RCA receiving tube manual and uh, rewiring the socket. So I've got the 6C4 in. I've tried a couple of them. And uh, these are very high quality military tubes. And uh, they, they regenerate very nicely on the low voltage. Nice control. But I'm not happy with the audio output. They don't have a lot of uh, detector volume compared to the 6BF6 or the 6AT6. So I don't like the 6C4. I would suspect that the 12AU7 is similar. Um, low output compared to the other tubes. So this particular 6C4 is a little bit better. We are on what is a beautiful fall day on 77 WABC. Thank you for tuning in. But I found that the 6C4s in general had lower detected output than the 6BF6 or the 6AT6. Um, it's regenerating nicely at the low voltage, but just a little bit lower output and might be a little problematic with headphones. So I now have the 12AB6 pentode in the detector position. The 12AB6 um, as a screen grid, of course, we're going to use the screen grid to control the regeneration. Now hopefully this tube uh, gives a little more output. Um, we have the full 24 volts connected to the bottom of the choke. That remains fixed. And now the screen grid is controlling the regen. That separates the regeneration from the audio detection a little bit. And you find that uh, you don't get as much interaction between the regeneration control and the, uh, the audio. So that's an improvement. I have also noticed that uh, we're getting uh, better performance with the Pentode. Uh, take a listen. And to the uh, fiscal stimulus talks until... Better. Got some hum going. Probably fifty stations I can pick up with this receiver now. Now, now that we have this thing working pretty well, I'm noticing that the regen control is only about 20% and it's already going into regeneration. Let's take a look at what that voltage is. Only 2 volts. I don't know if you can see that on the meter, but there's only two volts to produce regeneration. So, now we can optimize. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the throttle capacitor, which is, I think it's a 470. We're going to bring that down to like a 220. And uh, that's going to... Uh, uh, require more regeneration control. That's going to help that. I also noticed that the regeneration control is, is faster 
So now we can start to use a voltage divider idea to give us more range with the regeneration control. So let me make those two changes. Okay, so I've reduced the throttle capacitor from 470 puff to 250 puff. It's a little more controllable. Now I'm going to add a resistor in series with the pot equal to its value. That should bring the control up more and make the regeneration control a little smoother. Newsroom, I'm Joe Lasky. A Rochester man killed in Maine over this past weekend. State police say 30 year old Joshua Martin was in Winthrop, Maine. That's about an hour northeast of Portland. Martin was last known to be staying in Augusta. Maine. So, with the uh, pantode, we have so much gain that uh, the tickler coil could be reduced to as low as 15 turns. Remember, we had a tickler coil of around 25 turns, 30 turns. And there's so much more sensitivity with the pentode that we could bring that down to probably 15 turns. It's already uh, quite a nice regeneration control. It's just a very sensitive regen now. Now I did have a, uh, a bunch of 12 BA6 tubes, so I was able to try about six or seven different 12 BA6s in the regen. And of course, as with most of these regens that have a um, you know, a pretty wide tuning range, this is the whole AM band, you will find that uh, the lower part of the band takes more takes more feedback than the higher part of the band. So this is at the low end of the band. So if we come out of regeneration and we go up the band and you get towards the top of the band, you'll see that we're going into regeneration quicker. For 90 minutes, Mike Pence and Kamala Harris will answer questions dealing with a variety of issues. One of the major topics is certain to be COVID-19. So the good news is that all of these tubes worked fine in the regen. But I did find that the regeneration control had, for some tubes, it went in very early, you know, with only uh, three volts, for instance, on the screen. And other tubes needed almost the full 24 volts to go into regeneration at the low end of the band. So when you get into that situation, you need to adjust the feedback by increasing the number of turns on the tickler coil. The throttle cap idea does not work well with uh, pentodes because the pentode plate circuit is so isolated from the grid compared to the normal triode circuit and all of the control is done in the uh, screen grid so um, changing that capacitor makes a huge difference with a triode circuit but with a pentode circuit um, it really is not that effective. So you might as well use something like a 470 or a 330 because that will give you a, a little lower tone on the audio and uh, less hiss. So I think I settled in with a uh, with a 330 on this particular receiver with the Pento. In consequence, that it is airborne, that it will affect young people, and that it... So, Next, I have removed the 12 volt tubes. I've reduced, reduced the power supply to 12 volts and I stuck in a 6BA6 and uh, a, 
a 6AV6 as the audio amplifier. And uh, it's working quite nicely at 12 volts. It was a hoax. They minimized the seriousness of it. The president said, you're on one side of his ledger if you wear a mask, you're on the other side of his ledger if you don't. The president said... Looks like Kamala is on every single channel on the on the band. But anyway, the 6BA6 works fine with the 6AV6, and uh, there's many uh, high gain pentodes that you could try in the circuit. Let's try a few of them. So this is the 6BZ6. If I didn't use a, a 6BZ6 or try it in this, uh, somebody would be complaining. But um, I've tried a few of uh, high gain pentodes. I tried the uh, 6 BA6, the military uh, 5749. Um, what else? I tried, uh, oh, this is just a straight 6BA6. Um, I tried a 6AU6, a couple of those. And what's this last one? A 6BJ6. All of the tubes detected, but not all of them went into full regeneration. And some of the same kind. Uh, had more problems than others going into regeneration. So you may have to select your tubes or increase the number of turns on the tickler coil in order to get any given pentode to regenerate happily. But all of those types of tubes uh, seem to work fine, including this uh, 6BZ6. Energy portal, which features profiles for all 50 states, five U in the District of Columbia. This new interactive site includes So, um, you can use your favorite pentode, but I would stick with the 6BA6. I think that's, uh, that's the winner um, for consistency. And uh, the 6AV6, of course, in the, in the uh, audio amplifier stage. So that's about as far as I want to go with tubes. We've exhausted everybody here. Um, the tubes do work at low voltages. I still like it much better on 24 volts for headphones. So if you're trying to drive headphones, you need at least 24 volts to get good volume into the headphones. And uh, of course, if you pump that up to 35 or 45 volts, you'll even get more headphone volume. And it's still plenty safe at those low voltages. So, um, what we're listening to right now is something's wrong here. I don't see any tubes. Where are the tubes? What is that? Oh my gosh. It's a transistor plugged into a tube socket. Now, uh, to be fair, just sticking a couple of MPF-102s into the circuit. Oh, I got oscillations all right. And I really couldn't control them very well. So the, the FET idea worked fine on the amplifier part. But on the, uh, the regen part, it's not a great way to, uh, to do it. Um, you need to have DC bias so that the field effect transistor is in its proper range. And you need to control the regeneration in a more effective way. But I will tell you, it did work right out of the box. I was getting uh, regeneration and... Uh, you know, it's not, it's just not easy to control. But I can assure you, the FETs work just as well as the tubes if we can get the uh, the regeneration calmed down. This was just a little ex this was just a small experiment at the end. I promised I would try this. And I can tell you the FETs are very similar to the tubes. And uh, 
it's uh, just just fun to try something like this. Oh, also, it worked just as well on 24 volts as it did on 12 volts. So uh, I can show you a, a more effective way to uh, hook up FETs. The uh, Chuck Kitchen receiver shows you a very nice way of using an FET in a, a regen circuit. But uh, just for fun, I wanted to substitute the FETs right into the tube sockets with no adjustments. So by now all of you know that I'm a big fan of input coupling, both the lift link and the variometer style of uh, coupling. Usually on the cold end of the tank is just an ultimate way of uh, controlling the signal into the region, preventing overload, increasing uh, Q on the tuned circuit, which means more selectivity, and exalting the signal for more sensitivity as well. Uh, the telephone company, they did. They broke it up into regions, and in my memory is those regions then turned into dynamos. The conditions we have today called um, the mobile phones that dominate America. Is that a possible unexpected This is a variometer. It's a device similar to the input trimmer that we had on the Morgan receiver, but it's acting as the primary in the transformer. The secondary being the tuned coil and the ticklers down here. This is effectively minimizing the coupling in this position and maximizing the coupling in that position. So this is a little better situation than using an antenna trimmer on a, on a regen. Also, we're coupling into the ground side of the coil so it has less um, effect on the regeneration of the radio and you get quite a stable attenuation or RF gain control on the front of the regen. So that's why I made the coil a little taller than, uh, than I should have. I should have actually made it even taller and put this up higher because it came out in a spot that's not too far above the regen control. Remember I was saying how your radio is going to look better than mine? Well, mine's kind of a uh, experimental basket case, and uh, <laughs> it has a lot of uh, a lot of cut and try, and that doesn't make for a real pretty radio. Europe is unhappy with the concentration. <laughs> 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 So uh, we made a homemade choke on a sewing machine bobbin with number 30 or number 32 wire. Uh, the choke worked quite well. But when I substituted in a real choke, the performance went up. That is, um, more audio output, uh, better regeneration, uh, decoupling. Also, a real choke, uh, rather than a resistor, uh, will give you more audio output. But do try the resistor idea because it has value. Um, anything between a 10 and really uh, as high as you can get Henry choke is going to give excellent audio performance. So I hope you enjoyed this series and uh, I think we beat the, uh, the low voltage regen to death. Um, stand by for some more homebrew circuits.